Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron. This is from the Ground Up RC. Today we're going to get going on putting this Revo back together. This is going to be a three or four part series because I don't want to upload an hour long video and I don't think you guys want to watch an hour long video. So uh, let's get going. Today we're going to do the front bulkhead and get it assembled on the chassis. <laughs> get your bulkhead assembly and your a-arm you said it up here you'll notice there's two holes you just that's just for different tuning preferences I usually run the top hole just that's just the way I do it I don't race so I don't notice any difference in performance but then you get your lower a-arm assembly you can tell the bottom it's all scratched up unless you get a new one then go ahead and watch Set it right there. Have your pin. One on the back. One on the front. Now you got your your A arms are attached. And then I'll show you how those get held in place. You get your steering knuckle. This one's an RPM part. I like them. They use bigger bearings. These are the stock bearings out of here, and I'm upgrading. You can see the size difference the rear so these came off the rear and that's those are the these other bearings are the bearings off the the stock knuckle to put this knuckle together go ahead and take these little plug screws out they're uh it's a five millimeter pull that out Pull that one out. You get these little ball links. They slide in there. This goes back in here. And just tighten that up to where there's just a small amount of resistance on that ball. You don't even really want any resistance, but you don't want any forward and back playment. So you go ahead and loosen that up. There's no play there. All right, once you get those all together, you get some new boots and your new lock rings. We're gonna use blue. The part number is 5378X. Now I go ahead and slide these on. I don't worry about locking them down. It wouldn't hurt to lock them down. You'll have to loosen it up later. Um, this is the one When you take this, you set it in here. And these are 2.5 millimeter on the end of that ball. It'll screw into your A arm that spins that boot. So if you try and clamp it in, it just twists and pulls it out. And this is how you adjust your camber angle. Go ahead and loosen this one so we don't twist that up. We'll go ahead and we'll adjust our camber angle after we get it all finished put together. You can slide your axle back in there. Just like that. Now you can go ahead and take your two your two bulkhead halves and kind of Kind of slide them together. All right. Once you get your halves on there, you get your metal plate mounted on there. It's a three millimeter by ten millimeter screw. It uses a two millimeter Allen key. Just hold that right in the front. That'll lock your two halves together. And we can go ahead and drop our differential assembly and attach our axle so they're not flopping around. You'll see there's two little slots right there. That's so we can set our differential. Go ahead and slide it down in there. And it just sits and cradles in there. 
go ahead and pull your axle back. And slip it in there. And it uses a little screw that looks kind of like kind of like that. You drop that in there, and that's a uses a two millimeter Allen key to set it in. Now I get these new parts. Part number is 5343X. This will go ahead and slide in here like this, just underneath these pins. You should use a three millimeter by ten millimeter Allen screw, a two millimeter drive. And then this piece drops back here. There's a little dimple that lines itself up in there. Should also be three by ten millimeter. Well, I screwed up. This has to go in before that piece does. We'll just go ahead and pull that back out after we assemble this. This one uses two screws. They have a a bevel and a flat face on them pretty much the only ones like it on the truck slide this in for a two millimeter allen all right now we got these we'll set that back in there properly Take this back out. All right, we'll go ahead and set this in here like this. You want to make sure that the arms are swinging down or as they'd be oriented in the truck up. Go ahead and set that right there roughly. Go ahead and put this piece back in. Now we can go ahead and get this put in there where it's supposed to be. This uses this really long screw and gets fit in with this skid plate. And this screw, I don't know what the length is on it, but it's uh, hard to mistake. And again, just a couple three millimeter, 10 millimeter screws, I believe. Just drop in there. In there. Now we can go ahead and put these in. These are your toe links. We can go ahead and stick this front skid plate back on. It holds these pins in the front. We got to slide it up over the front. like that and I believe they're a three millimeter by 10 millimeter screw all right there you have it there is our reassembled front bulkhead assembly obviously that fits a lot nicer than it did when we first took this thing apart um, we can go ahead and put it on our chassis there's these little clips look like little c-clips that's how you adjust your caster angle on your on your front end. You just you can slide this back and forth, put it where you want. I usually run it all the way back. And then these just clip on there. Use as four per side. Now we're gonna bound our front bulkhead assembly to the chassis and the front body mount. It's going to be four millimeter screws for your front bulkhead. Two I've already put in, two here in the front. The, the body mount will lock in on your suspension pins in the front and then another screw back here and all these four screws are four millimeter by ten millimeter. They use a two and a half millimeter Allen.
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put our front bumper back on. Just go ahead and slide this in here like this. Three millimeter by long screws. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put our front bumper back on on the new mount. They use a four millimeter by 10 millimeter screw. That just kind of slips and pops and holds on around there. Bumper looks a little rough, but that's okay. All right, there you have it. Got our front bulkhead assembly, new body mount, bumper put on there. Put these on here. There's just these two screws that'll go on each end. You can adjust how high that sets, whatever you want. There's just a Phillips head screw to go on the end. They come with a new mount. Well, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, smash that like and subscribe button and get tuned in for part two. We're going to reassemble the rear bulkhead assembly and put that on the chassis.